What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use high shoot templates on iPhone or iOS, no jailbreak required. We will be using Screenshot X to do this. I've uh, covered Screenshot X in the past on how to get it. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check out that tutorial. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down some, some uh, APKs. We're gonna take some files out and we're gonna use them with Screenshot X. Now, if you guys didn't know, High Shoot is pretty much the template for Android devices or the system that they use to uh, to display their screenshots in frames. Some of them are really cool. I like that, you know, we can mix this with Android finally for once and we can kind of customize and we're a little bit closer to, a little, a little bit closer to customization like an Android, but I thought that this method was really cool. So like I said, we're using Screenshot X. I have imported one right here, as you can see. Uh, this is created by this gentleman here. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce your name because I, I would butcher it, but uh, the template that I will be importing in this video is by uh, this gentleman here, so this should be pretty cool. As you can see, I've already I've already imported one. We can just select on a screenshot, and as you guys can see, there you go. It is in the frame. It's a little weird because there's other elements. I haven't really dug too deep into this on how to get other elements or anything like that, so uh, it does work. I can just click save, and it will save it to my uh, camera roll. But we are going to go ahead and we're gonna jump into Safari. I do have, if I can find it here, there we go. I do have uh, <clears throat> this Google Drive here that has uh, a few different uh, templates, as you guys can see here. So we'll, we'll select on this one maybe. And uh, I don't know what any of these look like because they have no screenshots. So we'll just pick one at random. I guess maybe we'll do, uh, I don't know, they all look the same. Let's just do this one, I guess. So we'll do download on it. And I apologize, my voice is probably a little weird. I, my sinuses are acting up pretty bad today. So we'll do download. And we downloaded uh, this file here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find it. Oh, great. Let's go back and let's try to do this a different way, maybe. Can we, there we go, that's what I wanted. So we're gonna press on it. We're gonna open up the uh, share sheet. We're gonna go to iZip Pro and uh, as you can see, it's a bunch of mumbo jumbo that we can't. So this is N or SN Dark PC. So I need to remember that SN. Okay, so it's it's obvious. So it's the dot APK. Like I said, that's what uh, that's what Android uses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select on it. We're gonna go to the little rename there, and we're gonna rename this file. All we're gonna do is get rid of the APK. And we're just gonna put zip there. We'll click on OK, and uh, the new file extension may cause it to not be opened. Uh, yes, I will continue, it should be fine. So now we're gonna click done, we're gonna select on it. And then we actually, we don't even have to select on we just try to open it. And then we can unzip all the files here. And there we go, now there's a couple of files that we need out of here. We need uh, assets, we need the template.cfg. And then we also need in the RES, the drawable area here, we need the glare so we need the glare and we need to rename these this is where it gets a little finicky so i'm gonna i'm gonna rename them now i'm just going to select on it and then i'm gonna do the edit button i'm gonna rename it if i can click it and we're just gonna swipe over here and i'm gonna name this if i can remember the proper it's i uppercase p and then it's simply 12 and then max with a capital M. So we'll do that. And then what I'll do is I will click done. And now I'm going to find that one and I'm going to share it. And what I've done in my file system on my device is I've created a folder named templates. So I'm just gonna do save to files and it's already selected on this folder. So I'm just gonna actually, this might come into conflict with another one I'll just replace it because I already have the other one imported. So I'm just gonna re replace that. And then we're gonna back up and we're gonna go to the assets. And then the template config, we need to rename that as well. So same process, just check on it. Rename, and then this is gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna delete that name. And we're gonna change this to I capital P 12 capital M AX. And then I will click on okay. 
And then again, we'll click done. We'll select on it. We'll do share. Go down to save to files. We'll save it to the templates. Click save, replace, I already have one there. Now we can exit out. We can actually go into files to verify that they are there. They will be there. So on my iPhone to the bottom is templates. There's the two files. So now what we can do is jump into screen at shot X. We'll go to options. We'll import mockup. So it needs both of these. It needs the, the config and the glare. So we'll select on the glare. I'll just replace it. I guess you can rename it to whatever you want is what I just discovered. So since it's renaming it, you can name these to whatever you want. And then we'll do the config and I'll replace that. And now we'll go to imported. And then here is the, the high shoot template that I just imported. And there it is with a screenshot on it. We'll click on save, we'll exit, we'll go into my photos and I'll show you guys that I just used a high shoot template on an iPhone. So there you go. And uh, no jailbreak required, obviously. Um, that's how you're gonna use a high shoot template on iPhone, which is pretty damn sweet. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.